The accentual system of the Proto-Slavic language is reconstructed as being free and mobile pitch accent system. Proto-Slavic accent is closely related to the accentual system of symbolic languages with whom it shares many common innovations that occurred. In the Proto-Balto-Slavic period, deeper it inherits from the Proto-Indo-European accent which was also free and mobile, though the latter to a much lesser extent. In modern languages the prototypical accent is reflected in East Slavic languages as stress position, in South Slavic languages as pitch accent as stress position, and in West Slavic languages as vowel length. System. For late Proto-Slavic the following prosodemes are traditionally reconstructed O acute or old acute E. G. Asterisk corva. O short circumflex E. G. Asterisk slavo. O long circumflex E. G. Asterisk zolto. O short neoacute E. G. Asterisk bob. O long neoacute E. G. Asterisk core LJ, O general accent mark, usually on the last syllable where according to the traditional doctrine all of the historically long syllables were shortened. Old acute could occur on any syllable of a word but only on long syllable I, E on asterisk A asterisk I asterisk Q asterisk Y asterisk E asterisk E asterisk O which are etymologically always long and diphthong of the type asterisk VR, asterisk R, asterisk R, asterisk L, asterisk L, asterisk R, asterisk O, asterisk L, asterisk O, which are as diphthongs always long. Phonetically it is traditionally reconstructed as a long rising tone, according to the reflex in Slovene which is rising and the pyophonic reflex in Russian which has accent on the second part. Within Bolto-Slavic frame Work this matches with rising intonation of the cognate Latvian O and length marks on the second part of diphthongs in Old Prussian. However, critics of this interpretation claim that one can hardly derive the Serbo-Croatian short falling tone O shortness in Slovak length in Czech and the rising intonation in Russian pleophony from the former long rising tone. Some speculate that Proto-Slavic acute was phonetically in fact something entirely different e.g. a glottalized syllable comparable to stod in Danish or something similar. Short and long circumflex are traditionally marked with two different symbols. Even though we're dealing with the same prosodeme on short and long syllables, respectively, circumflex occurred only on the absolute beginning of a phonetic word, and words with initial circumflex were phonologically probably unaccented. The phonological unaccentedness was manifested as a falling tone. On neo-circumflex see below, short and long neo-acute are also a traditionally marked with two different symbols, and we're also dealing with the same prosodeme on short and long vowels. Neo-acute is traditionally reconstructed as a rising intonation on the basis of Slovene and Russian, and the description of dialectal Serbo-Croatian O as a rising tone. Short neoacute has a distinct reflex in Slovak and some Russian dialects. Proto-Slavic accent paradigms. Since Stang three accent paradigms are reconstructed for Proto-Slavic, traditionally marked with letters at B and C. The reflexes in individual Slavic languages are usually marked as at B, C. Stang's original reconstruction was phenomenals, and Dibo subsequently expanded these to Proto-Slavic verbs as well. Accent paradigm words have a fixed acute accent on one of the syllables of the stem. Examples, asterisk bar bar, A-C-C, asterisk bar bo, asterisk gar e, gen. Asterisk garda, asterisk copy to gen. Asterisk copy ta, asterisk smrt, gen.
Asterisk SMRTI, Asterisk SLABM, Neuter, Asterisk SLABO, Asterisk Partiti, Second Person Plural Present, Asterisk Partite, Accent Paradigm B words have either a neo acute on the final syllable of the stem or any accent on the first syllable of the ending. Examples, Asterisk Xena, ACC, Asterisk Xeno, Asterisk Pop Gen. Asterisk Popa, Asterisk Cello, Gen. Asterisk Cello, Asterisk OGN, Gen. Asterisk Ogony, Asterisk DOBRM, Neuter. Asterisk Dobro, Asterisk NOSIT, Second Person Plural Present, Asterisk NOSIT. Accent Paradigm C words have a mobile, free accent, either a circumflex on the first syllable, an acute on a medial syllable, I. E, the penultimate syllable of the ending or any accent on the final syllable. Initial circumflex always jumps to the preceding syllable in a phonetic word, e, g, asterisk, n, a, r, Similarly, if the circumflexed word is followed by a word lacking an accent, the accent is transferred onto it, asterisk, r, co, z. Examples, asterisk, no, g, a, c, c. Asterisk no guard, asterisk goals, gen. Asterisk goals, asterisk zivono, gen. Asterisk zedvona, asterisk gold, gen. Asterisk goldy, asterisk dorgem, neuter. Asterisk dorgard, asterisk sine t, second person plural present, asterisk sinite. Developments in Slavic languages. The suprasegmental vowel features of modern Slavic languages largely reflect the Proto Slavic system and are summarized in the table below. Proto Slavic accent remained free and mobile in East Slavic and South Slavic. The only exception in South Slavic is Macedonian, which has a fixed stress on the anti penultimate syllable in the standard language, with Southern and South. Southwestern Macedonian dialects exhibiting fixed penultimate stress, and Eastern dialects exhibiting free stress. In many dialects the original Proto-Slavic accent position has changed its place, e.g. in literary Serbo-Croatian retracting by one syllable which yielded the new rising pitch, with old accent preserved in non-standard dialects. Beside phonological causes, position of proto Proto-Slavic accent was often lost due to the leveling out within the mobile paradigm. In Slovene stress shifts occurred in both directions, depending on the old pitch and vowel quantity, yielding tonal and stress-based variants of modern literary Slovene. In West Slavic, free accent is attested at the periphery in the northern Kashubian dialects and Palabian. Vowel length became distinctive in West and partially South Slavic. In West Slavic languages it became so at the expense of free stress and was accompanied by extensive contraction due to the loss of J, typically resulting in a long vowel. This process was centered in the Czech area and covered Russian and Bulgarian areas at its extremes. This new length in West Slavic was lost during the 16th century in Polish and Sorbian and is preserved only in Czech and Slovak. Length was phonemicized in Serbo-Croatian and Slovene, depending on the pitch. In standard Serbo-Croatian no pre-tonic lengths are allowed, i.e., with Neostokavian retraction occurring the length of old long-accented syllables was retained as a post-tonic length. In Slovene, length is restricted to the stressed position, with the exception of e, which is always short. The Proto-Slavic three-way opposition of old acute, circumflex and neo-acute was in its original form lost in all Slavic languages. It was reworked into a two-way opposition, in one of two typical ways, the opposition of the merger of old acute and neo-acute to the circumflex. In Czech, Slovene and Upper Sorbian the new opposition become that of quantity. In East Slavic, Bulgarian and Macedonian this new quantitative opposition was subsequently lost, and sometimes reinterpreted as stress position. 
The opposition of the merger of the old acute and circumflex to the near acute, in Slovak, Polish and Lower Sorbian the new opposition become that of quantity, in Serbo-Croatian and Slovene the new opposition become that of pitch. Subsequently, Neo-Stokavian retraction in standard Serbo-Croatian created new tonal oppositions. Dot. Serbo-Croatian, O equals short falling, O equals long falling, O equals short rising, O equals long rising, O equals short vowel without distinctive tone, Slovene, O equals long falling, O equals long rising, O equals short rising, O equals short vowel without distinctive tone, Czech and Slovak, O equals long vowel, O equals short vowel equals either long or short vowel proto-slavic length beside the contrastive tone the late proto-slavic also had a vowel quantity which was phonemically non-distinctive vowels were predictably short and thus neutral with respect to length in pretonic positions further away from the accent than the first pretonic syllable in other words long vowels could occur in the stress syllable post-tonic syllables the first pretonic syllable, Old East Slavic and Old Polish loanwords in Finnish, Karelian, Estonian, Lithuanian and Latvian show that the length of the originally long vowels in Slavic is retained regardless of the intonation, the position in the word of the number of syllables. These loanwords show no trace of the old nasality of asterisk and asterisk o which indicates that the original proto-Slavic length was preserved in all positions, and conditions even after the denasalization of asterisk o and asterisk e. After surveying the data with respect to stress type, the number of the syllables in a word, the position and the accentual paradigm, Kapovic offers the following reflexes for West Slavic and Serbo-Croatian, which have retained distinctive lengths. 